So I just started a new job about a month ago. Some of you might be able to guess where. And every time I do this, I start to think a lot. I start to overthink. Part of that is probably because I'm autistic and we, you know, we get a bit strange, some of us, myself included, in periods of transition. And I, I think it's a great chance for me to, to really take some time and reflect on how I think. And that's, that's what I've been doing lately. I saw an interesting talk from, I believe, Daniel Kahneman, who is, I think he's, he's something of a semi-famous psychologist. And in his book, Thinking Fast and Slow, he talks about two systems. Not, not as like a, a fundamental neurological division in the brain, like the right and the left hemisphere, but more as a sort of uh, a casual rule of thumb to help understand and explain how, how people think. He calls them System 1 and System 2. I, I think he could have been an engineer if, if he had wanted to. And System 1 is sort of, as he describes it, this really fast, intuitive understanding of the world, sort of like how machine learning in computer AI uh, sort of works. It, it just, it really quickly can come to a snap judgment. And System 2, the way he describes it, is more a set of complex rules that we follow to really think deeply about a situation and come to a conclusion. And, and if you're into this thing and the theory of how we think, you might draw a link between System 1 and machine learning and then System 2 to more traditional symbolic AI systems. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's fine too. So with that context in mind, I started thinking about my own brain. and. I don't know how common this is in other autistic folks. I, I think it might be somewhat common. I, I'm either missing System 1, this fast, intuitive logic, or it's just really perhaps underdeveloped or, or maybe expressed differently in me from how it is in a lot of people. And when I look at how my thinking evolved at, for a very long time growing up and even as I entered the workforce, the, the deficits, sort of the, the space left behind by this sort of different or maybe even not present system one were really apparent in my behavior. And I think over time, system two in me, this sort of really deep thinking uh, structured reasoning, which is where I excel, sort of grew to fill in the the space left behind. And I've basically developed a set of symbolic rules that I can deeply think about that emulate human intuition in a conversation. So when I start talking to someone or, or I meet someone new, I've learned to say something positive, to ask them what's going on in their life, because that generates sort of warm and fuzzy feelings of perceived empathy. And, and then we'll, as, as the conversation goes on, I know to take up about 30 to 40 percent of the space because that's a level where I've learned by experience that people feel like the flow is natural to them. Uh, and I've learned to bias myself on the low side of that because I tend to get really excited and passionate and I'll just start talking if I don't sort of rein that in. And I have a whole bunch of other very intentional symbolic rules that I follow that help me around neurotypical people who think and, and perceive the world differently. And 
you know, the advantages of this type of thinking, because I'm coming up with these rules and I'm being very intentional about it, is that I'm probably, it's probably easier for be, me to be more intentional about the biases I use when I interact with the world than most. I, I, can, I can examine whether a rule is based on something that's, you know, a, a helpful bias, like, uh, well, the, the sky is out, outside is kind of dark, and it's about, that probably means that there's a decent chance the, the weather will be nasty, and so I better take an umbrella on my way to work. And then I, I can also examine where I, I see biases and that are perhaps less helpful, or, or maybe even helpful to me, but also harmful to other people, and avoid those where I can. But there's also a huge downside to this, and that's that it's just really hard for me to think quickly on my feet, because so much of, of the way I think revolves around this high level of intentionality, and I guess deep thoughtfulness, deep thinking. I, I'm still, I, right now, I am not great at just encountering an unexpected situation where I have to have some sort of rapid response and think on my feet. And this, I, I, I do a lot of software for a living, so this doesn't usually happen in my job, but where it really does show up is with other people. And although my core technical work might not might not have many opportunities that that require this, the the per peripheral aspects, especially the social aspects of my career, my my romantic life as well, heavily involve this sort of ability to to infer things quickly over the course of a conversation, and that has led to a lot of awkward moments in my life, and it continues to. I wonder what's, what's going to happen. I, I suspect that I will continue building rules, sort of like symbolic AI type rules, like if this, then that, that I'm just very intentional about following. Well, my camera cut out, but I just want to conclude with as I develop these rules in my life and as they get increasingly sophisticated over time, really playing off this strength of intentional thinking as I've come to understand it over the past couple of years, socially things will get better because it seems like I'm finally starting to learn what works for me. And part of that, I think, was working in consulting. So I would say that if you were like how I have been and you might struggle with certain social things, one of the best things to do for, for that is to work in a role where you are really consistently interacting with clients because that I found was a was a really really hard challenge and also it it pushed me to develop and, and it taught me what I needed to know to to develop this social ability that I might not otherwise have. So thanks for hearing me out. And I hope this helps you. If there's enough interest, I might make more of these. Bye.